All right, it's one of the last movies of our trip of a lifetime. It's our honeymoon destination, and it's so pretty here. So I'd like to make a little video compilation of our private resort. So let's start with our beautiful little room. It's a sort of a bungalow with a very high ceiling. So it's nice when there's thunderstorms here. What happens every night on the beautiful wooden roofs big bed very comfy so it's a big bungalow so we have a little kitchenette as well and show it from this side as well and then we go outside to our private balcony and the chairs are up right now because of all the rain overnight we don't want to have wet pillows so yeah this is our little hangout after dinner where we have a drink and ponder about life surrounded by the most incredible jungle noises beautiful spot to ride as well so if you look over the tree line and the banana leaves you can see the ocean so it's only a five minutes not even walk down to the ocean I'll show you that in a bit and we got an upgrade because nobody else is here on, on this resort to an outdoor bath and it's even more awesome when you're sitting there at night with a glass of whatever and some music or some crickets on the background. Shower and the bathroom, and who cares about that for the rest? Quickly grabbing the key and then we go outside for the real party. So let's walk down to the pool. So yeah. As you can see we got like a whole little house for ourselves. The cool thing is when we booked it we had no idea about that there were no other people around here. The website booking.com said like quick book, there's only one room left, one out of 24 rooms left. But apparently it's all a big lie because there's nobody else here. And yeah it's pretty awesome for honeymooners like us to have the whole place for ourselves. So, here we're getting a little piece of nature on the bridge. So, you see, that's the part down to the pool, and I think somebody's swimming there right now. Yes, it's a little hamster there. Hey! Yeah, she's seeing us as well. Camera is a bit unsteady, but we'll go down soon to see more of that. So the nice thing about this property is that everything is really well maintained. It's full with beautiful flowers and it seems like there's about five or six gardeners working here. Maintaining the place like landscapers and yeah, even on the low season when there's nobody there, they really take care of their property. And for me as a lover of all that stuff, I'm very happy with that.
So yeah, we were searching for the right place for us to have all the time just for ourselves and to relax before we go back to the, the real life, they call it. And we didn't want to spend time in the big cities here on Phuket because they're just too busy with people and smells and all that. So we decided to go a little bit away from the crowds and that's suddenly where we found this little paradise for only 40 euros a night including a massive buffet breakfast. We're very lucky with the weather as well because it's off season and normally it's always very rainy around here in the switch from May to June but we seem to be very lucky. Yeah, you can feel the picture right now, you're walking towards our private bay. Nice detail they have. A whole family of fluffy bunnies. And yes, of course, everybody likes some fluffy puppies every now and then. Yeah, it's just a nice, you can see a tropical garden and the detail of the birdhouse and all that. That stuff that I normally really like. There's like a little small pond full of lilies. And it's just cool to see that every time when I walk past here, the lily is open or closed. And if it's open, it's a beautiful big flower. And it always makes me happy. <clears throat> so again, there's nobody else here. So even when I would walk around naked or yell, I would only annoy staff but they're all very friendly so this is our daily spot for the happy hour where we have a little drink from one to two and then we go back inside our little chalet and start writing or doing our projects put some sand on the floor as well So, now we are right in front of a private pool and I think we can see somebody enjoying that pool over there. Somebody is in their happy zone. It's my wife. Hey wifey. Happy? Yeah? <laughs> so yeah, it's a really smooth little pool. And it's hot right now, it's about 37, 38 degrees, so we are mostly in the pool. Trying sometimes to lay down on one of those beds, but for me 10 minutes is maximum, so I like to get in one of the comfortable loungers, reading my books. It's quite a nice lap pool as well, so hopefully I can do some little laps on our stay here because we were supposed to stay here for five days but we're thinking about extending of course so how could you say goodbye to one of these amazing spots it's just a very stylish place what we like it's a bit sad for the ladies who work at the spa of course because they're it's only us and we don't like to pay for massages. So yeah, not lots of work to do for them, but uh, they seem relaxed and that's most important. So yeah, here from the other side, it's just a nice setup of the whole thing. It's a little hamster swimming in the water. Also, cool little details that we can take our kayaks. So that's pretty nice because we were used to doing some kayaking in Milford. And the reason why it's not so popular here is because of the beach. 
when the tide is out it's a bit of a muddy kind of a place so you can swim here but it's not really uh, the place with the blue water and all the perfect little palm trees but it's private so there's nobody else here and I think for now that's more important I think with a nice swimming pool like that who cares about a good swimming beach and yeah I look forward to take the kayaks for an afternoon the sunsets are amazing here and if you look up on top of the mountain or on the mountain on a little hill you can see a big Buddha and the cool thing is that we started our trip over here with our resort right next to the big Buddha and now we're in the right opposite of it but we never visited it because this is not a trip for culture it's a trip for us to completely unwind and to enjoy yourselves and eat good food, drink nice drinks and you know what I mean So you got the romantic swings, we got the live chess, all the hammocks and the BMX. I think we found our paradise. Yes, I'm pretty sure we found our paradise. And most important, if the audio on this camera is correct or proper you can hear some Islamic chant on the back and I think there's a little sort of a private homestead mosque so even because I'm a, not the biggest fan of um, the religion itself as in like all the trouble we had these days in the world but I like somehow the chant I like the, the singing during the prayers when we had travels in Morocco and Jordan and we were staying next to a mosque, it always sort of mesmerized me. So yeah, then you're sitting on your balcony, completely surrounded by jungle and then suddenly somebody's blaring for Allah. It's a bit odd, but Plenty of Islamic people here in Thailand as well. So yeah, from five days, we're probably extending it to eight days and officially declaring this place as Marty and Nessie's honeymoon paradise. Check it later. Hmm. Apparently my camera is so old that I can't even turn off the movie. <laughs> 